You know, and for Dub fans, it's been a roller coaster ride to their recent dynasty status after a tough stretch through the 2000s. Yes, it was, but we weathered it. KPAX 5's Wilson Walker met one lifelong fan outside Chase Center today. I tried this before last Saturday, they were out of stock. So I had to make a special trip. I called first just to make sure they have it. Because we present from Oakland where, where the Warriors used to be. Meet longtime Warriors fan Gordon John. Well, been following them since the old Rick Berry days. I wasn't around for Will Chamberlain. I'm, I'm not that old. But he is old enough but, to know uh, that many Warriors days of yore looked very different from today's dynasty. And getting here was a long and winding journey. Back then, people were going to the Warrior games just to see the other team. I mean, we, we went through all of them. We went through the uh, run TMC that we believe. But every year, you know, we, we but, but then I'm glad they, they, they did it with, uh, with this team, the strength and numbers. They just, they, they finally hired the right coach. Now, like many seasoned fans, he is a little wistful for the old home. And, you know, I, I just missed that. I mean, there was more seats than this place over there. But he is still on board from Oakland. His allegiance has not waned, nor has his confidence. I put $100 down in Vegas, October 2021. And I and I, I just said the Warriors are going to win the championship. So right now I'm only four four wins away, and just keeping my fingers crossed. Gordon says he's going to watch the games at home. Now the Warriors are asking anyone who's thinking about getting tickets to be careful of the source. Those tickets are scarce on the secondary market right now. Just getting in the building going to cost you about seven hundred and fifty dollars. We are here at Chase Center, Wilson Walker, KPIX Five.